unlock this door with the key of imagination. Hello again, this is Scapino with a quick tutorial on uh, how I add the GI lighting to my model of the Flash Gordon table. Here you see uh, two play fields, the upper and lower play field in their position, their model wireframe, and uh, just to see how it looks here without the GI lighting, we'll uh, hit the render button, which is what the red arrow is pointing at. It renders from the top down, and you see it's halfway done here. And that's a complete render. If you notice, there's some light on the table. It's a IBL light, image-based light. That uh, looks like sort of a room light. It's just a general light, so I can see what I'm doing. And it's that little icon in the lower left corner that looks like a silver ball near the uh, cube primitive that turns on the image base lighting. Uh, when I eventually get done to, with the table, I probably won't be using that. It depends on what it looks like. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to load an object. and This is one I had previously saved. You click on the uh, TS6 files menu up at the top right. Uh, pick uh, load, then pick object. And here I have uh, some models saved in my models folder for Flash Gordon. And there's a GI lamp model that I had made before. I modeled it on its own and saved it as a model that I can now import. Uh, since I'm using the correct scale for this table and I made the correct scale for the lamp, it will the lamp will already be scaled correctly when I import it. So I uh, click on lamp and hit open. And there it is, down there on the play field. It's not placed in any correct positions or anything at the moment, but uh, we'll take care of that right now. I'm going to go to the top down view, click on the little house menu up there, and pick the top roof of the house. I think it says a top down view. Right now you can see that the uh, lamp is bright white surrounded by a box. It's because when I imported it, I imported it with my base layer selected. If you look at the top left side, there's a, a down menu with a gray, green, and pink uh, boxes on it. Those are three layers that I have already set up. You can do an almost infinite number of layers with True Space. Layers are the best way of handling all these different types of objects because you can turn them on and turn them off just by clicking on the layer button. Anyway, we want these lamps to be separate from the playfield layer, which is the first layer. Right now it's part of the playfield layer, so we're right now we're going to open up the uh, list box that lists all of the objects on the table and allows you to place them in the different layer categories that you want. So you, where the red arrow is pointing is the list box up there. Scene editor is what it's called. And there you can see uh, on the left side you have the lower play field, upper play field, and a GI lamp object and a camera. So you click on the GI lamp you notice on the left hand side of that uh, are gray colored boxes. It shows all those things are so far in the first layer, the gray layer. We want to switch the GI lamp to the green layer that we had created there. And uh, you click on that colored box at the top where the arrow is, select the green layer, and you will see over here that now the GI lamp shows a little green box next to it which means it is now in its own layer. And we select the green layer over there, so that's the active layer that we're working with. Okay, now you click on the movement arrow box up there at the top. That allows you to move whatever object is selected. Uh, next to it is the rotate and scale boxes. So we want to just move it. And uh, what we can we do, and you see in this picture here, is I moved that GI light. By the way, this is just the 
the lamp, not the actual light. It's the glass envelope and the metal base with no actual physical light in it. And that's what all we're doing at the moment is putting those lamps without the lights into these into the table. Uh, you can see I placed that lamp in up one of the holes in the table where it belongs. Uh, you can figure out where it belongs by studying photographs of uh, where the lamps are. And uh, if you modeled your playfield correctly, it's got the right holes in the right places. So, um, that's where we place that particular lamp object. Now we're going to switch to the right side view, or you do it with the left side view too. We want a side view so we can make sure the lamp is placed uh, correctly depth-wise into the hole. Here's the side view and you can see once again you can go up to the move box. Uh, if you right click on the move box you can lock down your movement to all three axes or just one. I want it just to move up and down which in this view is the Y axis so I'm just click the Y button and unclick the X and Z buttons. Uh, so now when I move the mouse the uh, lamp is just going to move straight up and straight down since we had already placed it perfectly at the center of that hole uh, from our previous view.